Welcome to my English 1101 class. These are my students, Elle, Sarah, Tanner, and... Sorry I'm late. Um, my name's Patricia and I left my book at home today, but I'm ready for class. So. Okay, students. You have been organized into two groups based off your task. An overarching thematic question in Clara and the Sun is whether artificial intelligence can replace human intelligence. Does Ishiguro's message answer this question? L, Patricia, you guys partner up and write a thesis statement saying AI can replace human intelligence. Sarah, Tanner, write a thesis statement about why it cannot. Bring evidence to discuss your theses in 30 minutes. We believe that Clara and the Sun demonstrates that artificial intelligence can replace human intelligence because lifted intelligence is superior to natural human intelligence, robots replaced human ro workers, and Clara's experience of human emotion. Yeah, totally. Actually, artificial intelligence cannot be replaced by human intelligence because human emotion is hard to replace, unique to every individual human, and Humans find it difficult to even connect to inanimate objects. Yeah, lamb. So our first piece of evidence came from page either 228 or 163. And um, yeah, so Elle's gonna finish it off, but yeah. Well, we believe that artificial intelligence can be superior to human intelligence because robots are capable of feeling human emotions. In many points in the narrative, Clara feels worried for Josie, she feels love, she feels scared, she feels a lot of different human emotions, which demonstrates that these AI have the capability to understand and reflect human emotions back to humans. Now, this finding is meaning in the narrative because it demonstrates that if robots are capable of having the same facilities as humans to feel, then they must also have the same facilities to act in human ways. And this shows that robots have the same autonomy as humans. And for robots to be treated in the ways that humans are treated is a form of subjugation. It's, it can be akin to a form of slavery. So this should go across into question aspects of the novel, with, with these aspects of the novel, that... <laughs> so we disagree because how could a dingy old piece of scrap metal replicate all the ways that, you know, a real life human, a real living, breathing human sees, feels, and thinks? Exactly. On page 302, at the very end of the book, you'll see manager herself even admits that robots were not able, like the B3s themselves were not able to be connected with and they weren't a good sense of emotion. And the reason- Regardless of that point, <laughs> we are cut her off. Regardless of that point, we actually have another point that feeds into our argument, and that's that lifted intelligence is superior to natural human intelligence. So lifting is a procedure that increases... Hey, they know what lifting is, but basically what we're saying is genetic editing is another type of artificial intelligence that's better than human intelligence. Period. But as you can see from page 147, lifting couldn't have been that good because clearly people were dying from it. So when you look at it, you can't really just tamper with God's will and God's creation and think everything's going to turn out good, good and skippy for you. Yeah, that form of artificial intelligence was not as good as human intelligence because Sal was horrible and was not able to be replicated. While lifting had its downfalls, it ended up being a net good for society. As demonstrated by page 228, Josie's father lived in a community of people who didn't get lifted, who were replaced by workers, and they ended up being happier. This demonstrates the capacity of robots to take over labor jobs that human beings have no necessity to do when AI can replicate it. This frees up human beings to do anything they want to do. To piggyback off that, like um, Rick was also lifted and he was so smart and designed drones and stuff. So like lifting's obviously like artificial intelligence is good for society. Well, some of that may be true. At the end of the day, nothing man-made can be better than God's perfect creation. Exactly. So in the book on page 69, at the very start of the book, Clara refers to someone as a black skinned woman even though in the beginning of the book, she never referenced any of the other people as white skinned or their race. But throughout the book, anytime she interacts with a black like person, she'll say black skinned because she was taught racism because humans 
like you said, are flawed. And so our creations are flawed. So artificial intelligence made by humans is flawed and is not able to replace human intelligence because it'll have our flawed biases and like exasperate it. So you guys think that it'll be a net impact, like positive for society, but it won't be because it will just exasperate already flawed human uh, qualities. Thank you class for that mostly insightful discussion on Clara and the Sun. Unfortunately, the book for our next unit has been banned. So I'm ending the semester early. Have a great summer!